Hey there guys, how's it going? My name's Josh. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be telling you another one of my life stories. You guys seem to enjoy the last one, so here we are. But before we get started, please be sure to click that like button because if you don't, you'll get a bad case of the hiccups and that just sounds really annoying. So if you want to avoid the hiccups, just be sure to click that like button. Now let's get right into the video. So this all took place back when I was like 9, maybe 10, somewhere around that age. And as you can tell by the title, it didn't go as planned. Let me tell you guys how it went. So my dad has this friend, I think we'll call him like Jacob. Yeah, Jacob sounds good. And Jacob and my dad were great buddies. They used to ride motorcycles together and hang out all the time. They even worked together, you know, all around good vibes. And one day Jacob decided to throw a barbecue and of course invited my dad and the family over. This was pretty common, so I didn't think much of it. So we ended up getting ready and driving like an hour over to Jacob's place. Now, what Jacob didn't tell us was the reason he threw this barbecue. That reason being he got a new bike. And oh boy, was this bike fucking prime, dude. Like I'm talking like Megan Fox sexy. Or at least I think it was. I just remember being pretty impressed by it. Could have just been my age, I don't really know. Anyway, so my dad and Jacob are sitting there barbecuing like hamburgers or something and they are talking about the new bike. How fast it goes, how much it costs, etc, etc. I didn't really understand much if I'm being honest, I just remember them talking about it and I was in whoa. I have never ridden a bike before and all I wanted to do was get on it and fucking ride my dude. I'm talking like hair through the fucking wind, fucking fast boys. Okay, I, I, I wanted to fucking ride the bike. So I had this light bulb idea. What if somehow, some way, I convinced my dad to convince Jacob to let us ride the bike? You know, just around the neighborhood, just, just a quick little like tour, you know? They lived in a private park, so we could have really done anything as long as we didn't disturb the others. So I pull my dad aside and I'm like, dad, I need to talk to you, dad, 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 you know, just being that annoying ass fucking kid. And I pull him aside and I tell him how the plan goes. Dad, listen, I've never ridden a bike. I want to fucking ride this bike. What, what's the plan? How, how do we do this? Can you convince Jacob to let us get on or, or, or what's the deal? So obviously my dad says the mature thing and just says, I can ask him, I can try to convince him. It's his new baby, so I don't know if he'll let us, but I can try. Dudes, when I heard those words come out of my father's mouth, I can try, my eyes lit up. It looked like I had a fucking sun in my eye, okay? They were bright fucking stars. You know, like when you see like, uh, like a girl or something, dude, fucking googly fucking, oh my God, I'm about to ride a bike, eyes, okay? I, I was really excited. So my dad walks up over to Jacob and was like, hey, listen, my son is in love with your bike. He wants to take it for a ride. Would it be possible if we just took it around the block? You know, is, is that okay with you? And you know, Jacob trusting my dad was like, yeah, sure, man, you know, you guys have fun. I'll sit here and fucking continue making burgers or whatever, you know, you, you guys go have fun. Just hurry back because it's almost time to eat. Looking back at it, that was probably Jacob's worst mistake he's ever made in his entire life. But I was very thankful, so I go over to him and I say, thank you, thank you so much. I like, I, I'm pretty much kissing his fucking feet, dude. I am stoked. So we go over to the garage and we get the helmets on, you know, and we get on the bike. Now, there was a thing about this park, okay? It was a private park, but there was like this one road that was near Jacob's house that was dirt. It was a dirt fucking road. I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. We pull out of the garage and we start going, you know, and I'm, I'm hyped. So I'm telling my dad, faster, 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 faster. And my dad's like, okay. And you know, being a dumbass, you know, trying to make me have a good time. I respect it, I do. Probably not a good idea, but I respect it. Thank you, dad, I love you. And so he goes a little bit faster and a little bit faster and a little bit faster and we get to this fucking dirt road and it's kind of like curved. It's like, it's a curved dirt road, you know, to get back on the pavement. And my dad fucking was going fast, dude, like fucking cruising, you know? Honestly, it probably wasn't that fast, but I remember it as being really fast, okay? and he starts turning on the dirt road 
and the fucking bike dude it slides we just fucking fall off the bike dude and it just skits on the ground we fucking eat shit for like a like a mile okay maybe not a mile like a hundred meters okay and we just eat fucking shit dude my fucking clothes are all burned off you know like when when you skid for a little bit you get like the burns on your on your clothes right they're all burned off dude the bike's all fucking scratched up by the rocks and the dirt i'm fucking bleeding dude i have my knees are all scraped and dude it was bad it was fucking bad me being the little pussy i fucking am dude i saw the blood and i started crying i was probably hyped on adrenaline and wasn't feeling anything but i saw blood you know and i was crying i was in pain everything hurt i saw a bunch of blood and you know our moms my mom with the supersonic hearing they fucking have she she fucking heard my fucking crying i don't know how she did it from the house and she fucking comes out and sees the fucking motorcycle on the ground and fucking all the blood and she runs over to us and he's like what the fuck happened and then fucking jacob comes over and he's like my fucking bike dude and dude it was a fuck fest it was not it was they he was not happy all right let me tell you he was not fucking happy with us they called the ambulance we go to the fucking hospital they check us up we didn't break any bones or anything um they just clean up our fucking injuries and it's all good my dad pays Jacob back for the scratches and the paint job and all that shit. Luckily, nothing else happened to the bike. Thank fucking God. Otherwise, it would have been even more expensive than it already was. Or I'm guessing it was. I don't know. I didn't fucking know the price. And, um, yeah. Now I have a scar on my knee from that accident. And I'm traumatized of bikes. I haven't ridden a bike since then. It, it scared the living shit out of me. Moral of the story is, I feel like this is common sense. Don't go fast on dirt roads. Shit happens. Um, it's not fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe. I try to post commentaries every day. If you got to the end of the video, please be sure to comment faster so I know how many of you guys made it. If you want to hear more life stories, let me know in the comments as well so I know if you guys like them or not. And if you guys want to watch me live, Valorant just came out again and that's like one of my favorite games right now and I try to stream every morning. So if you can, I'd love for you guys to stop by. Link is in the description. That's all for me today. Adios, amigos!